be funky. Super. All right, hello everybody, and welcome to Crappie Hour. I'm Ronnie. That's Ben over there. Hi, Benoons. Hi. How are you? Good. Tell me everything that's been going on in your lifestyle. Um, what has been going on in my lifestyle? I've just been, you know, overwhelmed with all this Bravo news. By the way, I'm getting a little bit of an echo on your end. I don't know. <laughs> it's a disaster. <laughs> and I think your Instagram just fell over. <laughs> I'm dying here. <laughs> um, anyway, while you get, while you're dealing with that, um, everything, it's been wild. It's, this is, this is going to be a great crap hour today. Like the, the more news that we have to report, the more technical difficulties we always have. Um, but there's so much to talk about. Stuff is breaking. Stuff is like broken an hour ago. Like this is, this is like up to date news. And, um, I love reporting as if there's actually been like... <laughs> a presidential election or a high profile murder um when it's just like crap on bravo but there's been so much that's been going on it's one of those days where you're like i love being a bravo fan because all this gossip is so ridiculous and so silly um so for people on instagram yes i do have the raw green screen up because we are simulcasting this as we always do on youtube and so we do, we shoot the YouTube stuff via StreamYard. So on StreamYard, I have a nice background that makes me look like I'm in a sophisticated office. But on Instagram, you see just a green screen because there's no way to do like to key out the green screen on Instagram that I'm aware of. Um, but anyway, <laughs> I think Roddy's under his desk. This is desk cam right now. So for people who are on YouTube, what you're missing, there's Ronnie commercial. It's so funny. We're getting to see different angles of Ronnie working under his desk. Uh, there's been all sorts of tech issues today, but you know, that's just what happens. But also it's Instagram and YouTube. This is, we're not on the BBC, uh, at least not yet, but we will be in, we will be in England next week. So Ronnie is, Ronnie's making his way back up. Um, so ask questions, by the way, before we get into all the gossip, we have questions. Well, like, go ask us some questions here. Hi, Ronnie. Are you trying to get my, my attention? Oh, okay. Wait, I was listening to the wrong. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Let me turn the volume on up here. Well, I hear you on the phone, not on, not through my headphones. I know. Oh, well, meaning that, like, are do the people on YouTube hear it? It's because I hooked up my <laughs> because I hooked up my AirPods and it muted my mic on the goddamn internet. I can't. I, I quit this job. God. Okay, I'm sick of it. Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck all of you. I'm out of here. Okay, I'm back. Okay, you're back. Now start. Okay. Christina, sorry for the bad edit there. Um, we're torturing Christina, who works with us. We have a producer now. Did you guys know that her name is Christina? Yeah. And um, we has are torturing her job. today. And by we, I mean me. I'm such a fuck up. I fucked up all day. I keep kicking my electricity out. Then I hooked up a new audio thing. It messed up our audio for an entire show. I'm just failing all day long. But you are not. It's fun. We're having a fun. We're having a fun fail day. Yeah. Okay. Uh, by the way, someone That's asked okay. if I have new lighting. I have no new lighting. I just have a different <laughs> tripod. I was actually able to put my phone at a nice angle as opposed to some wretched like low angle where I was mm. for like the past year. <laughs> well, you look great. I have to Thank say you. your lighting Thank you. has never looked better. Whatever you're doing Thanks. over there it looks fantastic. Some Here's effort was made. Dimitri. I don't know if you started praying to the Lord Jesus Christ. Not that I care the about your religion, but Jesus is Lord. And I think it's working because you look great. I what I'm trying to go for is like imagine broadcasting from inside a mocap suit. And that's the look that I have on Instagram. It's like I'm on the inside on the outside are little golf balls and as uh, and I'm like being animated for a video game as we speak. <laughs> that's what someone we call green up, screen comedy. Someone brought up in the comments when I was yelling, I quit, fuck you all, uh, was bringing up the flight attendant who told off the entire plane and then slid out the plane. And we yeah. were just talking about flight attendant breakdowns today on one of the one of the recaps we did today. So that's funny that you bring that up because we were evoking that today. Oh, I think of the below deck he might recap be, that comes out tomorrow. That flight attendant might be a might be a listener because that that flight attendant was actually a, a reader of my old blog, B side blog. And after it happened, he like wrote I wrote something about it and he wrote a comment being like, Yeah, I sure did do it. Fuck it, fuck JetBlue. So I was like, I was like, awesome. So maybe he 
Maybe he's with us here in the world of Crappens. Yeah, you never know. And he's probably cooking very well if he followed you on <laughs> if he followed you on that block. <laughs> he, he left his <laughs> career <laughs> as a flight attendant, became a fantastic cook. Um, okay, <laughs> everybody, bless. let's get into some crappy hour stories because really no one is here to hear me bitch about electricity or flight attendants, I mean, I really, am. for that matter. Let's and start with some smaller too. stuff. Some really big stuff did happen this week, but some of the smaller stuff is super funny. Uh, Katie and Sheena are in a new Applebee's. Com is it Chili's? Chili's or Apple? Chili's. I think it's, it's Chili's. Chili's commercial. Yeah. yeah, it's a Chili's commercial, um, which is pretty cute. It's for an espresso martini, <laughs> and um, that was pretty cute. Did you watch that? I haven't seen that, but is Lisa Vanderpump going to be furious that there's like an alternate teeny beverage that uh, is being hawked? That's not a pump teeny. It's not a pump teeny. It's a Chili's teeny. Um, I haven't seen the commercial because I didn't know the commercial was out. Uh, I had heard that they were doing chilies. Uh, do you, if you send me a link, you know, I could. Do you want to take a look see now, or no? Maybe it doesn't just, really just want to describe I mean, it. It's just okay. a chilies commercial. Well, they're doing it kind of in the style of a reality show, like they're giving their um, diary room sessions, you know, being Got kind it. of snotty. And then there's a normal guy who's like, "Yeah, that's a great new espresso martini." And they're like, "What are you being? Why are you interviewing him?" And Katie says, "He's not even famous." <laughs> And then that's kind of that. But the Katie and Sheena stuff that's really fun is they were talking to Us Weekly, uh, the podcast, who we love. Hi over there. How are you doing? Hi, Call Christina us. Garibaldi, we et cetera. for a long time. Yeah. Um, but we like her. She was talking to Sheena and Katie, and she was like, basically, why is Lala going scorched earth on everybody? And Katie who is now in a princess's Long Island set as her set because she's in an apartment now and she does her things. Uh, the backdrop is her headboard and then it's a pillow that says K, which is so okay. princess's Long Island, right? Does anybody yeah, remember Yeah, very that much show? so, wow. very much, yeah. She's like, how, meh. So she's <laughs> got that set now and she's like, you know, I don't really understand why with Lala, like, I mean, sometimes like, I thought we were doing good because we've both been through so much and I don't really know why she's upset. First of all, could someone slap Katie on the back and make sure she's okay? Because she sounds like she's choking on a spirit. Okay, what's wrong with her? <laughs> okay, then Sheena answers. The lady's like, so Sheena, what do you think? And Sheena's like, wow, remember at the, at the reunion, Lala was just really upset because she wanted to come to the reunion and she wanted everybody to like be honest. Like she really wants people to be honest. Lala, the, the virtue, the, the She's paragon soft of honesty. now, guys. She's soft. No, no way. Lala <laughs> is soft now. Yeah, she really wants everybody to be, like, honest because, like, whatever conversation she's had with us off camera, like, whether it be about Ariana herself or something about her, the sandwich shop, like, she just wanted everybody to be honest with the reunion, and that didn't happen with some people. So I guess Katie has been talking shit about Ariana or venting to Lala, and then Lala is mad that she tried to throw Katie under the bus at the reunion, but Katie was pretending she didn't know what she was talking about, which, that's Katie's right to not, if I talk shit about you, it's not for you to bring it up on national television. What's the point of having friends if I can't talk shit? Yeah, the hell? I, I, I agree. Um, Cause didn't Lala unfollow uh, Katie and Sheena or something like yes. that? Yes. She had a big unfollowing thing. So I think this is like Lala's way. This is what happens with Lala. Her stories, get overshadowed or they get usurped by other people and so then she has sort of like a late in the se late season crisis where she's got to do something drastic to try to like to maintain i won't say relevance because like she's still relevant in our vanderpump rules world but i think that like she's like i thought that like i'd be breaking the internet by now so i'm just gonna like unfollow some people yeah, and then uh, first of all, she doesn't unfollow people. She unfollows them. Okay, let's get the <laughs> let's get the branding right. Give them an um, unfollow law. I'm unfollowing you softly. She, softly um, does. Yeah, someone asked her. I, I don't know. These people like are literally on every show ever. Every time I'm scrolling Instagram, they're on another podcast or something. But someone asked her, "Oh my God, did you unfollow Shannon and Katie? Or did you unfollow Katie and Ariana?" And she's like. 
Yeah, well, so, you know, I'm really a stickler about numbers on my Instagram, and I really like <sighs> to see, like, the same amount of followers that I'm always following, which is very Stassi. Remember when Stassi was always trying to say it? 666 she's like she always wanted to be at 666 follow uh following or whatever and so yeah, she's but... like and so they just didn't fit into the numbers but that's all it was it was of just all the people that I mean, there were 664 i don't know how many numbers she has it's not 666 <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll just go look let's see how many followers lala kent in instagram let's look at the desktop applications Okay, we're gonna see the softer side of Lala's numbers right now. Okay, so she's following 224 people. What, is she like a 227 fan? Is that what you're gonna try to tell me? <laughs> Sorry, it's in honor, in honor of Marla Gibbs, I cannot have more or less than 227 followers. And right now I'm actually at 224, which is a little off brand for me. But yeah, you know there's me. like- When yeah. people come to my Instagrams, I just want them to say, Hell no, no. There's no place like home studios when your family surround you ain't never alone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, in other news, lots of, we can get to some bigger stuff now. I guess people are showing up. So let's do it. Let's get to some big stuff, huge stuff. So Bravo, huge. today I was complaining um, on the show. I know it's a shocker to you guys. Complaining? What? I was complaining um, about Potomac, as we do <laughs> when that when that shows on. But as we were we talking do. about that one today, and I was saying, Bravo never learned this lesson. It's been years, and they should they should have known this last year. They needed to change. And they didn't do shit. And look at all these shows. They need to change. And then um, look at look. It's almost like they heard me early because the changes they are a common. People are just getting slaughtered over there. I mean, Jesus Christ, people! I didn't mean mass figurative murder. What the hell are you doing? They're, now they're just firing everybody. They're like, bye, you're fired. You're fired. Bye, Robin. Bye, Candace. Well, I think Candace quit. I don't think she was fired. Bye, uh, Crystal Minkoff. Sorry, it's a circle of life. Bitch! What I think hell? Candace was fired. I don't think she quit. I mean, I think that Candace was checked out, but I think she also knows where the check is. She's checked out, but she knows where the check is, which almost sounds like a cool saying, but not quite. And um, especially since she has a baby coming, I'm sure she was like, this could be a storyline. And it's like, also you have another mouth to feed. And we, um, there's only so much money that a duck quesadilla can bring into that family. So I don't think that she was fired, but I'm, I, don't think that she, I don't think that she quit. I think she was probably fired in this case. Someone on here just said, um, Bravo even said that Candace um, left. But Bravo doesn't always tell us the truth. Bravo I mean, usually that's like does believing that a politician. You know what I mean? Andy also comes on at the Andy came on at the beginning of the Potomac season and talked about what an amazing season it was and how we're all gonna love it. Like it was a new fucking iPhone commercial. So I don't know that we can always believe him. I and I don't know. I don't really care that much. Um, but I was watching her on an interview today with Chris, uh, her husband Chris, and they were talking about how she's preggies, you know, cause she's pregnant. So congratulations to her on that, but she's pregnant. And they were saying, she was saying that Bravo told her that they wanted her to come on and be less vitriolic on the podcast, on the, on the reunion and not fight so much. And she made it sound like they were saying that just to her, but you know, we all heard at the beginning of the reunion, Andy was saying, make up like everybody needs to like, Make up yeah. your season sucked, basically. And so um, they were like, well, do you do you forgive everybody? And she's like, I am so far removed from the situation at this point. And we have so much going on in our lives and our family. You know, Candace, like giving her. Yeah. Big I long pause answers. So I don't know. That made me think, oh, maybe she was fired because I thought she quit this whole time. But then that answer was very like, it's not even bothering me. Not even a bit. So. An old queen at a bar once told me that like almost any time, almost across the board, uh, the, the Bravo celebrities are fired and don't, they never quit. They always are fired. And Bravo will let them say like, oh, I quit. I decided to leave, yada, yada, so that way they can save face. So I would not be surprised if that happened with Candace. We don't know. You know, on the one hand, I think pregnant Candace would have been hilarious. She would have been a monster. But on the other hand, she also, you know, she would have had a lot of cliched things. Like, you know, she would have had so many interviews where she would be taking like her cry angle and being like, this person 
inside of me, this like this living thing. I now I'm in charge of it. It needs me. And it's like, you don't know until you're pregnant. It's like, yes, Candace, welcome to being pregnant. You're saying everything that we've heard a million times on TV. Well, I'm taking it extremely personally that we don't get to see Candace's prego season because we have been predicting what Candace is going to be like pregnant for years, for years. Candace is like, I don't want a baby, nah, nah, nah. And we've always said the second she gets gets a line on her pee stick, it's a line or a plus that you get. I don't know. I feel, I feel like it's very confusing. I think it's just like two lines. I could I be know, wrong. You get something on your pee stick. You do that with your, with your vagina. Is you get Ariana's vagina? You get Ariana's face saying, you're in danger, girl. <laughs> you're in danger girl so she um she peed on the stick. oh yeah we've been predicting that she's going to turn immediately annoying mommy you know like our friends that not that mommies are annoying but you know what i mean just go but over there the are, top with there like, are some suddenly who... they've got like the the stick figure family on the back of the minivan you know like the back of her lexus would be like a stick a stick with a brown dick and then um you know a little baby stick like in a thing yeah. like oh I'll, I'll, but this car is finally a home or something like that there's i mean i, I the question is from candace being pregnant do we we should also mention that monica garcia is pregnant and she announced her pregnancy at six weeks she has like a secret boyfriend who's like 27 or something like that right like there's some messiness as usual with monica and she announced this on a podcast of some sort i think uh i heard she, it was on a podcast um i only trust reddit with all things like that and apparently she's because it's all it's all her right now right there's a ton of articles about her and her pregnancy and people are speculating that the guy she is impregnated by is the guy who worked at the snowboard the snowboard shop that she went to for a scene with heather which that's people really have <laughs> such good memories but the fact that they're oh i know who it is it's the snowboard guy <laughs> at that shop their chemistry was undeniable undeniable so i don't Reality know that's a lot of that's a lot of kids for her daughter to be raising i'll say i'll say that much that that poor little girl <laughs> the oldest daughter does she need more can the girl just get through high school without you adding another baby to her her roster <laughs> and then you've got the mom over there linda. starting fights with her still linda going off about it and uh saying that monica's never home and monica travels all the time and her daughter is raising the children it's like well yeah but it's called being a working mom too i mean jesus christ i say leave them if you've got them leave them Le you gotta sell them those there. swaddles it's the only way they figure out how to do anything by themselves how do you think i know how to make a quesadilla <laughs> i got left alone with a bag of tortillas and some cheese one day you know <laughs> Um, so back, going back to Potomac confirmed, Robin confirmed today that she was in fact fired. She is out. And then there's also Hold on, wait for everybody to recover from the shock. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Is okay. everyone okay? Is the ski instructor impregnating Bravo Lebs okay? <laughs> um, and then the other story that is not confirmed, but the articles are popping up is that NECA is out after one year. Yeah, um, that sucks because I just predicted today that they were going to keep NECA and get rid of Wendy. And now, yeah. I, it's not that I think NECA deserves to be kept. I thought she was not great. And she should have been fired the second she said unpacking party. I would have been like, oh, good, good That goodbye. was really bad, the unpacking Wrong party. Wrong brand, ma'am. Wrong brand. You need to go to the U-Haul network. This is bullshit. But anyway, I just thought they would give her a chance. But um, they didn't. And um, that's okay. But... Wendy, I mean, come on, keep on going. You know, part of it's like, oh my God, stop the slaughter. And the other part of me is like, well, all right, keep it, keep it up. <laughs> as Don't long as we're here. All out there. <laughs> as long as the pink slip machine is fresh. Let's, <laughs> uh, let's see who else we can get on out here. Um, yeah, so that was the, that's the other big rumored firing. Um, oh, but one thing about that, sorry, I just thought of this. It actually is smart because Wendy, I think, has been, first of all, we liked Wendy her first couple of seasons. I think it's just gone so her. badly for Wendy that it's like, it's been miserable for Wendy. And I think the audience, a lot of the audience, I can't speak for everybody, obviously, but 
Um, we used to really like her, and I think actually it might be good getting rid of the teammates of these people because she doesn't have Candace mm -hmm. anymore, and Giselle doesn't have Robin anymore, so it's going to force them to interact. So maybe that yeah. will fix it. You know, who knows? That's not a terrible move. I call that big brother theory, you know, where you take out alliances, you take out the side, the side people of the alliance and then see what happens. Uh -huh. um, all, the, of course, the other part of big brother theory is that then they have to hang off of greased up hot dogs in a backyard for as long as possible. So that may not apply here. <laughs> um, uh, I have to say also just a shout out to Emily over on YouTube, who regarding Monica's baby daddy, she said, I was hoping it was the server who put Mary's pizza in a box after Mary told Monica to not eat pizza. <laughs> He's like, I'm not gonna let you have this pizza back until you do something for me. Okay, so now what do we have? We have also, what else is there? Oh, oh well, you know Peter. Do -do 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 oh, well, you know Peter. It's the time. Lexi News Network taking over crappy hour. Peter didn't mean anything bad by it. Blink, 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 blink. Blink in Spanish, blink in Spanish, blink in Spanish. Oh, well, you know Peter. Oh, so big, big news in the world of Miami. Just when Lisa Hochstein was getting ready for a third go at the divorce storyline this season. Here comes Alexia. Here comes Todd. Todd dropping the bomb on Alexia, filing for divorce. Apparently, she was not expecting this, and um, she's been, oh, well, you know, rattled, you know. She wrote on Instagram the following thing, which, of course, I'm pulling up. I did not have ready. Okay, so she wrote, oh, well, you know, Peter, I am shocked and heartbroken that Todd has chosen to dissolve our marriage. I will take comfort in the fact that my friends and family will be, my, my, be by my side as a true star would have such people around them during this difficult star, unstar like time. I'm praying for better star times ahead. Alexia. Oh my gosh. That's sad. I mean, I guess. Yeah. I'm actually kind of happy for her because that guy's deranged. Okay, that guy's fucking deranged. She needs to go. She needs to get away from him. That guy's crazy. He's not just like that angry and unhinged on TV. You know what I mean? Like it's worse. In yeah, private. people are worse in private. They're not better. Um, so he's terrifying. And here's the trend. I'm not really sure this Bravo trend of we're all shocked and blindsided that we're getting left is. Uh, how are you all shocked? Alexia, how are you shocked? Todd I was, was shocked. freaking out all season last season and not coming to parties and furious with the show and furious with you for hanging out with the people on the show and saying nobody's there for him and uh, accusing the show of like hurting his business. I mean, just the, just the paper rattling alone on the Instagram. I mean, the man didn't seem well. He didn't see, and also Peter. I blame Peter. That's who I blame for this. I'll bet Peter oh, caused some shit, started a fight, and Alexia stood up for Peter. And Todd was like, you know what? That's what it That's was. That's it. That's it. I've had it. I have had it. Taking care of this kid makes more sense than buying a house over renting. There, I said it. <laughs> the good news for Alexia is that she's due All for some. Mind, I uh, have a statement to make. As do I. Uh, stop. Please stop. Uh, other version of me. Please start the statement. <laughs> please start. Okay, I will start. You do it. Dear, dear Alexia, Peter, and Frankie, it has been my honor that for the past three years I have been able to be your father figure because Lord knows you never had one before. You three people are pieces of shit in descending order. Number one piece of shit, Peter. Number two, Alexia. And number three, I'm not going to say Frankie. So you know what, though, in advance, Frankie, you get Godiva chocolates. Furthermore, to this I say I apologize to everyone, and I love you all. I never meant to call you pieces of shit just then in the last sentence. I meant to delete it, <laughs> but I didn't delete it. And that was my fault, and I accept re responsibility as one man to another man. And by man, I do not mean Peter. I only mean Frankie. Thank you very much. I Consider would also divorced. like to say that the nail company here to fourth known as Alexia and Frankie's Nails is hereby, however, under... <laughs> dissolves <laughs> by all the power vested in me by frankly nobody but who cares it's my statement I say <laughs> Frankie you may not have done nothing but you're too damn huggable to take seriously get out of my house that's it <laughs> Now, I just want to clarify the only reason why that company has been, has been dissolved is because the walls are made of paper <laughs> and Peter peed on them 
This is Peter's fault. I'm telling you right now, Peter Absolutely. did some nasty shit and Alexia stuck up for Peter. I just feel it in my bones. You know? She is going to ruin her whole life over that stupid kid. You know, yesterday I went to have a salad at a place called Honest Mary's, which frankly, <laughs> well, I would never, I would never, I, I hate find, it. Not a sandwich, a salad, a bowl. I find Honest the Mary's. name of that restaurant so fucking offensive. I feel like it's judging me. I feel like my parents are taking me to church on Christmas Eve and they're staring at my reaction. Honest like, Mary's. Honest Mary's, like gross. Just because I'm a Mary and you want me to be more honest, like it's just a gross name for a place. But I like the place, it's good. Anyway, there's this guy that works there and he looks exactly like Peter, exactly like him. And I just thought the whole time I was in line, I was like, fuck you for what you've done to your mother. I couldn't, I couldn't help it. And he didn't, he's not even really him. He just looks like him. And then he <clears throat> overcharged me, charged me for two waters. And then he didn't take any blame. And I was like, you are just like Peter. You are just like him. I, I suppose this is my fault somehow, sir. Uh, maybe the reason why there was this divorce is because um, Todd got, sick and tired of waiting 30 minutes for Peter to get his entire sentence out of his mouth. And Alexa was like, no, no, it's going to be good. It's going to go to somewhere. So someone go, just listen, Todd. You have to listen. You're his father now. I say, oh, that's it. I've had it. I just said too slow. He speaks too slowly for me. Peter and Katie should date. <laughs> I don't really know, understand what happened with my mom's marriage to Todd. Yeah, but also, I thought everything was going really well. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, I think for sure, like Alexia, definitely, like I, I would not be shocked if, if Peter is at the root of this. I really, believe it or not, I really did believe that Todd was in love with Alexia. But you know, I'm also, you know, I'm gullible like that. I believe he, but I was pretty surprised. He's, he's in love with, she's crazy making, let's be honest. I mean, I think that he was in love with her, but you know, she comes with a lot of Alexia. Alexia is just a lot of Alexia, you know? And, I mean, I don't know. I'm I'm assuming Todd didn't do anything horrible. I think that he's he just went crazy at the. I think he went crazy at the house. Peter. Well, see. that's but pretty horrible to do to go <laughs> to go crazy. Well, he's Todd. I think his lid just finally popped off because you know all those scenes where they're talking about the insanity that is coming out of Alexia's mouth. <laughs> like Alexia just yes. says the most insane things. Like, oh, Peter, he went the he. You know, they called the police because of the abusing his girlfriend. He didn't abuse. He just didn't want her to drive drunk. And he's like, but you, why, why don't you make him take responsibility? He is responsible for saving a girl's life because he didn't let her drive drunk. Okay, you know, I think he tried to apply so much logic to some situations and I think his head just fucking popped off. Also, that's a lot of lies to keep up with. I mean, when you're living in the penthouse of the, of the place you're the property manager for or whatever and pretending it's like your, your mansion or whatever the hell was going on with that old queen in a bar, Thanks. Uh -huh. Thanks for that. So who knows? I mean, it's a lot. That that life is a lot to keep up with. I think these noobs can't take it. You know, he's just a innocent Staten Island boy. He didn't know what he was getting into. He's he's used to watching f trash barges float by. You know, he's not used to like marrying into them. I think <laughs> um, that uh, this season on Miami, I think Alexia is going to blame Adriana. I think she's going to say, oh, yeah. well, you know, if you didn't ask questions, you know, you, you made him feel so insecure. If you didn't yeah. ask those things, you didn't make him feel bad. You know, you put up on, you, you know, you start rumors on show that he has no money and like, that's what's going to happen. So you interfered with my marriage. You know, that's what's going to happen. And then, you know, Lisa is going to be like, I understand what you're going through because it reminds me of what Lenny just did to me last night. And, you're, and then it's going to be, she's going to probably make it all about Lenny and then Alexis is going to get mad at her. We're making about Lenny because now this is Alexia's divorce storyline. It's going to be actually amazing, amazing I, television. You know, uh, I think it is because she also had a pretty rough season of going pretty hard against Lisa a bunch of the times. Now, Lisa kind of deserved yeah. it, but the whole like, why are you in? Why are you still driving Lenny's car around? And why'd you put a camera in Lenny's car or whatever? <laughs> a listening device in Lenny's car. And when Lisa's like, well, so what? It's both of our cars. What's the big deal? You drive Todd's car. And she's like, well, I don't have a problem with Todd, but you have a problem with Lenny. I mean, there's things like that that are, I think, going to kind of come back to haunt her. Here's what I'll say. I think Alexia, I don't know that Todd was bad. I don't know. I'm assuming, but I, just because he's a man on Bravo, but I don't know that he was bad. <laughs> yeah. But I do know she needs a more criminal kind of like she. Anybody who watched her on Cocaine Cowboys knows that wasn't just love. That was like she loved that relationship. She loved being in Cocaine Cowboys. You know what I mean? Like she wants a badass 
cocaine dealer. <laughs> like like yeah. maybe not that. I mean, we've modernized, so it's not coke anymore. But I don't know. She wants like a bad boy. I think I don't think she wants like a a realtor from Staten Island who makes Instagram videos trying to inspire people to rent more. Do we? I mean, Marcus is available. He's not a dealer or anything, but it would just be hilarious. Marcus and Alexia. <laughs> just now that's a fight. Larsa. That's a fight I want to see. The, the, the Marcus and Larsa breakup. That's what I need to see. Well, that's as long as she keeps her dirty paws off of Steve, the most handsome man on the cast, I'll be happy because I'm an icon. I have had two non-legally bond binding marriages to this man. You will not miss. <laughs> Legal in Scotland. Okay. We get great tax breaks if we lived in Scotland, but unfortunately well, no. So that's them. We do have really touching news though on the relationship front, Ben. I'm sure this is gonna touch you. Just as much as this man's limp penis touched so many over the past year. That is Real Housewives of Orange County stars Jennifer Pedranti and Ryan right. Boyajian. Boyajian. Boy, how do you pronounce it? I forget. I don't want to do it wrong. Fuck boy. So rude. I believe it's Boyajian. pronounced fuck, fuck boy. boy. <laughs> fuck Boyajian. Uh, <laughs> they are engaged in surprise his, inside his surprise Bahamas proposal. She tells people, this is a magical time for us. Noting the engagement ring just knocks my socks off. Just keep your underwear on your man. Okay, keep the socks on your underman's, on your man's limp penis. Okay, nobody needs Thank that. Thank you so much. In our life. Thank you so much for proposing to me. I really appreciate that so much. Thank you so much for doing that for me, Ryan. <laughs> um, yeah, that's. Uh, I mean, I think. Uh, yeah, I, I think that like clearly the cameras were there. I'm gonna sit, assume this is probably all for TV, and um, excited for them to have their future divorce. I don't know. Let me just say, Jen. Made history, probably history. Well, no, I guess Shannon did it first. Never mind. And it was the same show. But anyway, I was going to say she almost made history by getting a colonic on national television. Um, this is grosser. Yeah. This um, is grosser than watching you get poop flushed out of your system by Shannon's magic poop <laughs> cleanser. <laughs> Um, also, um, uh, we didn't mention, we should have mentioned this during our firing segment, but... Um, as of like an hour and a half ago, Crystal Kung Minkoff fired from Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Did mention that actually? Thanks you for did? being here at your own show. Yes. I, did we talk about it? I, I don't know. Oh, it was lumped in there, but you're right. It deserves more. What do you think about it? Um, yeah, I think we could see this coming. Uh, I just remember the premiere for la for this past season, and and where Crystal spoke for 14 seconds the entire episode literally 14 seconds it was timed she definitely came out of her shell for the second half but she just didn't have enough of a storyline and the stuff with her brother really was not that thrilling so it was pretty inevitable but i actually really liked crystal and i'm just you know it's just like another another person falls by the wayside while kyle richards thrives onwards yeah, yeah, Kyle just keeps winning. Crystal, listen, Crystal's just one of those people who needs to constantly be um, coming against like something problematic. Like she always needs to be like righteously angered about something. And there's yeah. just not enough to go around on Beverly Hills. Like you need, you need other things. Like you can't just be only righteous anger it has to be other stuff too but i mean i think she was great this year going against anna marie because i mean what a dick she turned out to be you know so it was nice yeah. to see somebody call her ass out and not hold back because you know on beverly hills they hold back they they're all they're all fake polite you know even though they're probably the tackiest bunch out of all of them they pretend they're the classiest because they wear the most fake brands i guess i don't know but they have this air of like oh we're not like the other housewives who we're beverly hills right and so it was nice to see crystal just be like you bitch you know that was that was <laughs> lovely uh i think she just has to do it the whole year you know she can't just do it in a couple of episodes unfortunately yeah she was sort of giving on um giving like friend of energy everyone's by the way it's been a lot of talk and you even made a meme about it way ahead of time about Hilaria Baldwin. There was talk that what the the producers wanted Hilaria Baldwin to Hilaria, audition for Hilaria. Hilaria, which would be great for us. Um, 
I don't think it'll ever happen, but man, that would be great. I don't know. I mean, you think? I think it could happen. Why not? And Alec um, Baldwin, that would be amazing. <laughs> God, someone who's about to go i mean bravo is getting to that point where they would cast someone who is about to face like a involuntary manslaughter trial <laughs> on bravo well you know i mean this, who, this, come on technicalities you know I mean? <laughs> um also crystal i just saw um well i didn't just see but a few days ago when they when this gossip was going around about Ilaria, you think you come how do you say how do you say cucumber? Bow. How do you say it? Cucumber. She, uh, when that was going around, Crystal commented uh, with just cucumber emojis. I think it was cucumber emojis. And my, my vision's pretty bad. But I think it was cucumber emojis under it. And I was like, oh, my God, they're going to give Crystal someone to be offended by. I can't, I'm so excited. But, you know, then, then they got rid of her. But also the other reason I'm kind of looking forward to this is because it's being reported that if she does come on, she's coming on as a friend of Kyle's, which means that Kyle is gets her yearly shot at trying to bring on a new defender for herself and to watch the audience turn against this person and completely ravage their lives while Kyle gets away scot-free after they've done all her dirty work. You know, the usual cycle that we're used to. But you I know, was excited to see Alec Baldwin on the losing end of that, realizing <laughs> what a cesspool he just joined. Yeah, um, and you know, Kyle Richards does like to have proximity to murder, so that works out pretty well for her. You yeah, know, and someone Resnick. on here says, Hilaria <laughs> has a lot of mouths to feed, and Alec is struggling to find work. That's true. I mean, she's popping out those kids. Someone's got to pay for them, and Alex is, Alec is like, why would I work when you guys just accuse me of shooting people? <laughs> uh, Alec, you, you did would, uh Oh, well, so we can't have a bad day. Fuck's sake. Oh, I think it would be actually what would be great about having Hilaria on is that we would have a battle of New Englanders with global accents. And I think that will be really hilarious because she's from Boston, Dorita's from Connecticut, and they both have um, European accents. Um, and can you please have the agua con chili water? Con chili water? <laughs> Piqué, por favor, get me a croissant. I love it. <laughs> Those two my, going at each other, I mean, wow. It's just my, like yeah. deranged, privileged white lady. <laughs> it might white be awkward the first time. It might be awkward the first time Dorit says, caucus out. <laughs> Someone on YouTube said, um, hold on, where is it? Hilaria. How you say esophago? <laughs> <laughs> how you say... <laughs> how you say... <laughs> Oh, that's so good. Um, that's funny. Emily's on fire tonight on YouTube. So you know this, um, this is back to Alexia. I just forgot to mention this part, and it's right in the center of my screen. Oh, hi, everybody. This is me close up. I have my reading glasses on, by um, the way, because this is my life now. You're getting reading. Um, I have to move my phone because it's, it's on the screen. Okay, so there was a rumor posted by, was it Bravo and Cockies? I think it was Cockies. like Bravo's isn't it always Bravo and Cocktails? I feel like they've got all the goss at all times. Hi, I Bravo and Bravo, Cocktails. Bravo but and then, Botox was in here a moment ago. Oh my God, love them. Okay, so I think it was Bravo and Cocktails. Let's just assume it was. If I was wrong, correct me. They posted a blind about a huge divorce, huge divorce news coming out soon, and it's going to be shocking uh, because it's something we weren't expecting. One day, the wife was cooking the husband creamed corn, and the next day, she was serving him with divorce papers so everybody's like creamed corn who's this i think we talked about this right we talked about this last show. time it was mm -hmm. marge right okay so look i'm acting like it's breaking news literally talked about it a month ago but um people on reddit today are like oh was that alexia did we ever see alexia serve creamed corn uh i i wonder because that would be very interesting if was there a, was there a creamed corn scene with Alexia? You never know. Oh, Miami like is we weird enough know. that it would. I feel like we would remember a creamed corn scene, and I don't understand why we don't remember it. Someone last time said it was Marge because she said that Joe likes her creamed corn or something. I don't know. I need better Alexia, clues. Someone says Alexia doesn't cook, and then someone said maybe it was candy. I'm not sure. We're gonna have. I, I thought by now there'd be some eagle eye creamed corn, um, you know, detectives that would have had some good. Good things. Someone said Madison, which is funny. Well, which yeah, actually corn, might not be bad. I think of Madison, but they said it was a housewife, I think. Um, did you see, what was the other thing I was just going to say? Uh, the Jersey thing where Jackie posted a picture of her 
Jen, Aiden, and Teresa, and she's like, oh my God, it's so great to be here with such good friends. Yes, like, I did see nothing that. can replace great friends or something. So she's just she's just poking she's going some bears. for it. She's going for it. She really um, is. In music news, we have a double uh, a triple piece of music news. Uh, first, what everyone saw, what the world saw, which broke the Internet was Teresa and Taylor Swift took a photo together. The fact that Taylor Swift could be so like like that. They're... By the way, congrats to Alexia and Todd for outshining Taylor Swift. You really did it. <laughs> That's a huge accomplishment. But Teresa and Taylor Swift took a photo together and like, I am still reeling from it. Like seeing, like when you saw the footage from Coachella of Taylor and Travis walking through the crowd and you see Louie there chewing his gum, holding up his camera, like, I'm getting it, I'm getting it, Tree. I'm getting it, I'm getting it. How do you think that picture happened? Do you think Teresa went up to Taylor or do you think Taylor was like, oh my God, I'm such a Real Housewives fan. I have to take a picture with Teresa. What do you think? Um, I don't, I can't imagine that happening, that Taylor was like chasing down Teresa, but I don't know. I mean, she, Taylor Swift does those concerts for, I was just looking at the venue we're gonna go see her at. It seats 65,000 people. I mean, that's nuts. So you're gonna telling me you do that every night, you fly to a different part of the world and do that shit every day and you give a shit about meeting Teresa. That girl's tired. I think she would just wanna go home. I think if Teresa was there, she was probably like, oh my God, don't let it be me. I'm going home. Please <laughs> tell her I'm not here. They're like, Taylor, the concert is called Taylor Swift. You're on the stage. I think she would have been yeah. like, no, it's not me. I Taylor think that Taylor- me. Taylor was my, my stand-in. <laughs> I think Taylor had no idea who Teresa was. You can sort of see with her smile. Her smile is the smile of someone saying, like, um, I'm trying to enjoy Ice Spice right now, and you're interrupting me. And you know that Louie was going up to Travis Kelsey and was like, hey, man, let me tell you something. You got a good woman. And if you've got a good woman, you got to treat her right. You got to do all the things. You got to be a man. You got to be a man, Travis Kelsey. You know, he's like, yeah, bro, whatever. <laughs> we took the yeah, picture. Yeah, I feel like Louis is probably like, you and me, we're the same, huh? <laughs> me and you, just <laughs> like. Oh, speaking of snorting and um, enraged purple face, Jax, wow. We've got an anti-Jaxer on our hands, everybody. Oh, shocker, yeah. Shocker over there. So Jax came out in, where was this, Ben? What did he come it out It was in on his Instagram, I think. Uh, it was on Yah Yahoo News was reporting this, but a lot of people were talking about this. So as we saw in the Valley last week, um, Cruz, uh, Jackson Brittany's son, was having some regression in terms of uh, speaking. And Jax is now blaming vaccines. He's sort of like trying, he was, he was on, um, was it on his podcast or was it just on his Instagram? I'm not sure, but like. Oh, it was his Instagram. It was his, uh, oh, well, this is from our friend. She said, if you're looking for a topic, Jack's a social media meltdown over vaccination causing Cruz's autism, uh, which I don't know if, if it's this not, is just an email we got. I don't, I don't even think it's autism. I don't I know. It's, like autism has not been claimed. Yeah, maybe but, have read that. But uh, what, no, it's fine. I mean, but uh, it hasn't been claimed, but in terms of like the speech thing. So Jax is like, my son walked early, crawled early, even spoke early, and then we got him vaccinated and it all stopped, which has, I mean, uh, so he's like, I'm not saying vaccines are, are at fault, but like, I mean, you know, oh, okay. then all of a sudden, what, what else could it be? What else could it be? Well, why don't you let the doctors look into that? He's like, I did a lot of research, which is always like when you hear that, it's like, all right, sir. Uh, Dr. Jax, Jax Taylor uh, has done some of his research. But um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it was not the vaccine, whatever it is. Yeah, stupid Jax. Oh, my gosh. It's just such a Jax thing to say. Like, oh, my God. I mean, first there was vaccines and now I can't get rid of this runny nose. <laughs> <laughs> what could what it else be? Could it be? Huh? What could it be? Um, uh, oh, and he also had a big long apology over. Uh, he's still doing his podcast with Brittany, which I find hilarious that these two are like, "We're breaking up." Okay, see you tomorrow for our podcast. Oh, I hate her. So they're still having their <laughs> their podcast, and um, he was on someone's social media during one of Jax's bars live viewings of Vanderpump Rules, of course. He watched, he views Vanderpump Rules, I guess, so he could trash it on a microphone, which on one hand is tacky as hell. On the other hand, hi, that's our job. Could you please get out of my office? <laughs> that would be great. Um, 
but he was saying, oh, I've never seen such a faker show. This is the most written show I've ever seen on television. <laughs> And going off, and then he got on his podcast with Britney. He's like, you know, I just wanted to say, like, I just heard something that they said about me, the producer said about me on that show, and I just got real mad, and I just reacted, but I shouldn't have, because, you know, that show's been good to me, and I, I'm, I'm sorry I said that. It's just that I was mad, because they made me mad, you know, because, of course, there's always a reason. It's not like, I'm sorry, I'm an asshole. It's like, I'm sorry that you did this to me. I'm sorry you made me do this. And then Britney's over there going, Oh, Jay X, you shouldn't be so mean to that show. I mean, they gave us our star, Jay X. <laughs> they gave us your star. Jax. What are you at the Grammys? What are you talking about your star? They also gave you your end. Okay. Yeah, I think they just gave them their middle, to be honest. Um, people online are, are saying, which I think is important, uh, that autism can usually present at around the same time as people get vaccines. Someone also says it's normal at that age and it can happen if there's a lot of fighting or turmoil in the house. I don't I mean, I don't know if that's medi medically verifiably verifiable or whatever, but this is what people are saying in the comments. Um, all I do know is that Jax is not a doctor and, uh, I think that, uh, you know, making a boogeyman out of vaccines is like incredibly irresponsible so that's really on brand for Jax. Um, well it's the... right after the um britney believes in uh the faked school shoot what was it we were talking sandy we hook. were just talking about it yeah someone was saying oh she's a sandy hook truther or whatever and then we were looking it up and it was a tweet that she had put out a while ago being like, yo, I don't know if this is true or not, but what if or something about Sandy Hook <laughs> truthers. So, and so, so, so she had to beat that again all this time later. And now he's coming out with a, an anti-vax thing that come. <laughs> I know. I mean, these two, this brain trust here, right? I'm um, serious. Like I, and I hate to say it because I don't always believe it, but poor Brittany. I mean, literally and figuratively. It's just, it's just, it's sad, okay? God yeah. bless it. Did you hear, um, in other news, did you hear Ali Bally's new single? I did not, but I saw that everybody's dancing around in pink, and it's called, like, Girl Power or something like that. So it's I was like, like girls, I, need girl. be, I need to be in a pretty specific mood for this, because I feel like um, I'm <laughs> done with it. I feel like I'm done with Barbie, okay? I put my Barbies away for the season. So how was it, man? Um, I would say of Bravo singles, it was actually, it was better than most of the other Bravo singles. It was actually pretty good for what it was, but it's very generic. It's it's like, sort of straddles that line between country and pop. And um, it's just a lot of her, she's like at her guitar and she's like with her kids. So, well, not kids, like people. Someone just wrote kids bop to him, which is accurate. And she's like, oh. I'm a real girl's girl. I went, I have friends who are girls. I'm just a girl from a small town. The lyric is like, I'm from a small town. Don't know about these things. I'm a girl's girl. Um, <laughs> so I don't know, James played Coachella. His dream came true. He finally played Coachella. So if James can make it to Coachella, maybe Ali Bali is not that far behind. Oh my gosh. Well, you know, I like her. More power to her. I mean, it can't be easy, the life she's chosen. <laughs> she can actually play an instrument, which is more than literally any other Bravo celebrity who's released music can say. Oh, that's true. Um, you know, I just hope her pitch hasn't been affected by the planes. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I was like, if you listen closely, you can hear the sound of a Southwest engine overhead. <laughs> I'm just glad that she has any pitch left because most people would be uh, ringing for the tinnitus. All right, everybody. Thanks so much for being here for this portion. We are going to move over to the Instagram uh, talking to listeners section. So if you want to come up here and talk to us, you'll have about a minute. Uh, so start requesting y'all is, uh, everybody on YouTube. Thanks for being here. Everybody on audio. Thanks for being here. We will talk to you in two weeks. We love you guys. Bye. Bye. Okay. Instagram. You stay.